facilitating police professionalism cannot be overemphasized. The media is the voice of the voiceless, the eyes of the blind, and the ears of the deaf. The media has been a reliable strategic partner for the police. We serve as a mirror to lay bare our shortcomings, to enable us continue to learn and develop. The unique role played by the media in keeping internal security can therefore not be understated. It is for this and many other reasons that the same constitution of Ghana which mandates the police service to work as a law enforcement agency also guarantees freedom and independence of the media. Yet, in carrying out the police constitutional mandate of ensuring general peace and security within the country, the police, as a human institution, sometimes operate in a manner that appears to threaten the freedom and independence guaranteed the media by the Constitution. There have even been times when journalists, in their quest to seek information, and also whilst covering special events, such as demonstrations, have come in the way of the police, leading to frictions and misunderstandings between the police and journalists. The infrequent excesses of the media and the police should not always be of primary interest to us. These few occurrences must not mar our mutual relationship that inures to the benefit of the ordinary Ghanaian. Let us be slow in highlighting on imperfections, but quick in projecting the positives of our synergy. It is for this reason that the police administration through our public affairs department is collaborating with Media Foundation for West Africa to organize this one-day forum on police media relations. It is my hope that this forum will discuss frankly all the issues that lead to or may lead to police journalist clash, police journalist conflict, or police journalist misunderstanding and find solutions to them. Today, I want us to wear solution-oriented glasses and do away with our problem-oriented positions. It is my hope that this forum will strengthen relations between members of the Ghana Police Service and the media in Ghana and beyond. I do further hope that this forum will navigate mutual understanding of the roles of the police and the media for safe, secure, and peaceful communities in Ghana. I believe that this forum will build the capacity of police officers and journalists on effective media handling and conduct, and conduct during police operations. Finally, it is my hope that this forum will offer an opportunity for participating police officers and media representatives to brainstorm and come out with blueprints for developing a manual that will guide police media relations, especially during major police operations.